How's it going everybody? Open Mango here. Today we're going to be opening up a booster box of Data Live from the Weiss Schwartz TCG. Uh, it's been a while since I've opened this setup. I uh, got a few boxes when it first released and uh, yeah, I uh, thought it might be a great opening since we haven't had a Weiss Schwartz opening in quite a while. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and all that good stuff and share the video with who you think might enjoy these openings. I'm going to get this box all unwrapped and meet you guys back in just a sec. All right, I got the box all unwrapped, and let's see what we get. Uh, each uh, box has 20 packs in it and has one box topper. So I'm just going to take the packs out and put them over here. And we do have a box topper, if I can get it out. Uh, we have a trying on Kurumi promo. All right, we'll get into the opening. Hope you guys are having a great, great Friday. Um, hopefully you have some exciting plans for the weekend. If you uh, are planning to go out, be sure to be safe. Um, yeah, it's uh, been a while since we've opened any Y Schwartz, so uh, we're looking to see if we can pull any of those like signed or stamped cards. As we have a choosing a swimsuit Yoshino, and I've never seen uh, Data Live or any of the Date series, uh, and why Schwartz and Bushy Road tend to uh, lean heavily on their uh, their anime characters. Okay, we have uh, Power to Turn Back Time, Kurumi, Rare, and our Climax Common or Climax Rare. Starting off for uh, a pretty decent, we've got a rare. I think you're at least guaranteed one rare per pack. So um, hopefully we get those higher rarities. We're, we're looking for SPs and, and higher. Uh, and after this pack, I think uh, we'll go back in to, to see what the different rarity types are. So we get a Wavering Heart Kurumi, uh, another Kurumi card, uh, Toka. Another, oh, this is a double rare, uh, Frenzied Nightmare Kurumi. And then we have our Climax card. All right, already a rare and a double rare. All right, we'll put that one right there. And yeah, let's see. Um, so there's 100 types of cards in total 32 parallel types and there's eight cards per pack and 20 packs per box uh, there is a secret in this set uh and sps triple rares srs uh double rares rares uncommons commons climax rares and climax commons um so super rares sometimes are the ones that are either like either you'll get a super rare or a triple rare in a box um obviously if you get the sp or secrets um that's what you really want to get and yeah, um, as far as why Schwartz goes, um, there's a lot of cool stuff coming out uh, for this card game, especially, uh, I know, man, this pack is just not wanting to open. I'm gonna use my handy dandy box cutter. Um, yeah, there's like a bunch of new sets coming out for Bushy Road. They just did the, maybe a couple sets by now because they release so frequently, but um the disney set that came out um and that was insane and they're coming uh did we just get an upside down card yeah <laughs> I, I i just noticed i was going on about the the avatar set coming out but uh it's words of bravado katori uh sulking toka Another Karumi card. Basic Realizer. Shido Itsu Itsuka. And we have our double rare reliable little sister Kotori. And our climax card in the back. Uh, but yeah, the Avatar, the last airbender set's coming out, and I'm really excited about that because um, Avatar was a big uh, like anime slash western cartoon that um, I watched a lot when I was growing up. 
Let me know if you guys um, have watched that show and if you're going to open up any Y Schwartz from, from that set. Um, and the thing with Y Schwartz is that they have uh, mashed up a bunch of IPs into one card game. So it's it's a pretty interesting like card game overall and like um, the way they run their, uh, their, their card game. So we get a single rare for the sky and sword Toka. And then another climax card at the end. Next pack. All right. For these, it might actually be worth it to just kind of use the pull tab. Because some of these are open, and, uh, some of these packs are open and fine, but some of the others are not. All right. You got a Kurumi, Katori, or a Origami. Uh, another Katori. As we get a double rare, Yoshino and Yoshinon, and then our Climax card. I like the vibrance and the color on these. Uh, this one pops a lot more than some of the other ones, but that is a double rare, so that's probably why. Like, um, pulled one SP card before, and it wasn't even me, it was, it was my fiance. She pulled one from. Um, Set. Uh, Adventure Time. So Y Schwartz also did like a crossover with Adventure Time. And uh, some of those cards are really hard to get in those SPs. Um, I, I think I have it next to me, so I'll, I'll maybe pull it out so you guys can see it. Uh, as we get an Expressions Kotori, which is the rare. Oh, Expressions Killing Intent Kotori. All right. And then our Climax card there. And it's in a sleeve right now because I'm going to be sending it off to grading. But yeah, that's the card. And I think behind it is the Bond. But yeah, they just look so cool. And uh, I, that is the only SP that I've ever held in my hand. Or I, I don't even know if it's an SP. Let me see. Yeah, it is an SP and it's signed. Yoshino, Kanazuki, Toka, Rene, Rene, uh, Kotori, another Kotori, and we have a single rare Sullen Rain Yoshino, and uh, another Climax card. Just thinking back to when I picked this box up, I was like, I think it, I want to say it was like 2021. It's been a couple years now, and it's just been sitting in my uh, my collection area. There's there's a lot more uh, booster boxes that I have from Y Schwartz as we get a rare to save Spirits Katori and our Climax card. Um, but yeah, I've I've been meaning to kind of like break these boxes open here and there, but I just never got the time to do it and. Since some of the viewers on the channel enjoy some Y Schwartz, I was like, hey, you know, I think it'd be a great opening for those uh, who are one, interested or curious, or two, enjoy these types of openings. So I uh, hope you all enjoy. All right. Uh, origami, Kurumi, Toka, Kurumi, Katori, Origami, and then we have uh, Origami, uh, just a single rare, and then our Climax card there. All right. We're about a little, or we're approaching the halfway point. Uh, I'm gonna just pull these sleeves out so I'm not going back and forth in between. All right. 
There we go. Next pack. Man, I'm just thinking, like, if we pull an SP, the, like, you may actually hear me scream, because uh, from my understanding of why Schwartz is that um, you get typically one per case, or maybe two, because we get an, a rare uh, origami, and then our Climax card. I think I have a SP of this. Because uh, I, I bought four boxes, I want to say. Maybe three. May have only bought three boxes, but... Um, back when the set first came out, and... I have... I'm opening one. I've opened one. And I think I saw two more, so... Um, hopefully, uh, if we don't pull it here, we'll have one more chance. Let's go get a Kurumi. Yoshino. Toka. Get a double rare Toka and a Climax card. Yeah, I'm not too sure about the way the card game's played because I know that there's, uh, like, your characters get stronger, I think, as you, like, take on damage from, or, I guess, lose life in this game. Um, just trying to do a back trick. Uh, it's going to be Yoshino, Origami, Kurumi. Origami, Toka, Toka again. We have a single rare Under the Skies Kurumi. And then our Climax card. Yeah, but nonetheless, uh, there's some great IPs out there. Uh, especially, I think, uh, I think Nazrik, or from the uh, show Overlord, uh, is pretty big right now. And I know that there's a chase for that albedo card all right Let's see shido pin down yoshino kurumi origami origami again and a double rare katori itsuka and our climax card i I wonder if, uh, I know, oh no, it's a, it's a double rare, right? Put that over here. Um, I wonder if they'll ever do a crossover with some like major IPs that are already kind of existing, like like Dragon Ball or uh, Pokemon. Oh, knocked my camera there, sorry about that. Or like some of the other um, animes out there uh, that already have card games, because that'd be pretty interesting. Because uh, I know they just did Disney and Disney's coming out with their own card game, Lorcana, if, uh, if you guys are interested in that, I will definitely be doing some openings um, on that. All right, and then we get a Yoshino single rare, and then our Climax card. Yeah, I'm excited about that. Like, it'll be cool to like open up those cards, but I don't, I don't know if I'll actually like play the game or anything, but uh, just to collect those cards uh, will be pretty fun. I'm still going to be sticking to like a lot of the Dragon Ball Super and like uh, CCG and then Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, um, Y-Shorts here and there. And I do have some other sets, so it's uh, also part of the, like the, the subscriber specials that I'm going to be doing. Uh, I think I'll be posting one for the 400 subscriber special uh, in regards to what you guys might want to see open, so I'll have like a poll out. Uh, so keep an eye out for that as we get a Time Eating Kurumi single rare and... Our Climax card. But yeah, uh, I do have some other TCGs um, that I've kind of collected over the years. And if you guys want to see some of those as well, kind of sprinkled in into the subscriber specials or even on their own, let me know. And I'll get them incorporated. All right, we have Origami. And then another Upside Down card. And I think this was the same card that was Upside Down before. Interesting. Toka. Kurumi. Toka again. Toka. And then we have a rare Toka again. I'm pretty sure that's the same person over and over. Just different types of cards of her. Springtime moment. 
Well, coming down to the last four packs, and uh, I think the best we've gotten so far is only this single or double layers. So maybe these last few packs have uh, the bangers. Okay. Let's see. We have an origami, a Kurumi, Toka, Kurumi again, Toka, Toka. Okay. All right. We got an SR. Uh, Toka. Naive and innocent girl. Hall pattern on that looks pretty dope. And then we have our Climax card. So I think this is the big hit in the box. Because I think, I don't know what the ratio is of like pulling an, uh, I guess a, an SP or a secret R, but obviously, um, you know, you're, you're definitely gonna have boxes where uh, there's none of those. And I think the highest you can get is a SR. Uh, and getting a triple rare too might be pretty great. I think I picked these boxes up for like $60 when they first came out. Let's get a Yoshino. And then we have a single rare Shido. And our Climax card. All right, last two packs. Kurumi, Yoshino, Kurumi, Toka, um, a teacher, draw back and discuss. We have a single rare transfer student Kurumi, and then we also have the climax card, Fear, Fearless Smile. All right, last pack magic. Let's see if we can pull it. Come on, SP card. Or the secret room. All right. We have a Kurumi, Yoshino, Katori, Kurumi, Mana, and oh, that's not it. There we go. Uh, it is a Swimsy Yoshino. Is a single rare, and then our climax card. All right. Well, that was cool. Uh, got to see some pretty interesting cards, Y Schwartz. Um, always interesting to open. But uh, thank you all for your time. Hope you're having a great Friday and hope you have a great weekend. And I'll catch you back on Sunday. Bye.